Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a look at Battlefield 2042. Now we're going to look at the main game, we're going to look at Hazard Zone, and we're going to talk about Portal. We will be talking about the bugs a little bit, but we're not going to go into a lot of detail because I think those things are going to get worked out here sooner rather than later. And I almost thought about waiting until the 19th to actually review this game in full because I know there's a big patch coming uh, on the 19th and we'll cover that when it comes out. And to be totally upfront, I'm enjoying the game. I love the gunplay, I love the way everything runs, I like the way it feels. However, there's about five things that I like to see change that would really put this game over the top. Also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the chat. If you're on console and you're having a difficult time and you don't know how to remove chat that's up there, mainly that's PC players talking and you don't wanna see that, I've got a solution for you. It's gonna be towards the end of the video, but if you want to jump straight to that, no problem. I got timestamps down below. So here's what I like about the game. First and foremost, I like the gunplay. I like the way the guns feel. I like the way the time to kill is structured right now. The time to death might be a little snappy, but that's okay too. I'm fine with that. I'm not the best player out there. I like the way we have all of these vehicles and these large open maps. It is a fun game. It is very chaotic. And if that's something that you like, and that's Battlefield for you, this is a sandbox and it feels really good. Now I have not checked out the PS4 version are the smaller the fourth gen console versions i have the ps4 i want to be checking that out here soon so if you'd like if you want me to do a review for the ps4 version let me know in the comments down below i like the ping system it needs a little work i think but overall when the ping system works it works really well I like the customizable loadouts. That's something that they've had in Call of Duty for a long time where you can rename your loadouts and you can do different things. I love it. I love having the freedom of not being tied down to a class. I think that is fantastic. However, if you're somebody who likes that, if you want that class system, I know that Portal is probably gonna be where you wanna go. Speaking of which, Portal, fantastic. Portal is an experience that is unlike anything else. Portal is not even a game mode. Portal is an experience where you can create your own custom servers, or you can jump into someone else's custom servers to recreate some of the most iconic Battlefield moments, or you can create something brand new that you've never experienced before. Portal is going to be the backbone foundation of this franchise moving forward. I hope, fingers crossed, because it is a lot of fun. I played some Battlefield Bad Company too. I've played World War II and Battlefield 1942, which I've never done before. I didn't realize you ran around with a bazooka and a pistol. I had no idea, but guess what? You do. I played some Battlefield Bad Company 2 with my wife. I played some Battlefield 3. No Shark Canal and Caspian Border look fantastic. Man, I, to me, that's worth the game right there. Just Portal alone, to me, is worth that. It is a fantastic feature inside of 2042. I think that Portal is worth the money alone, but that's just me. I've had a great time, and I can't wait to see what everybody else is gonna create. It's gonna be amazing. And hopefully, in the future, we're gonna get a lot more content for it. I really hope we do, because again, I think that Battlefield Portal is something special and that it is a love letter. It really is a love letter to Battlefield fans everywhere. Hazard Zone, as far as that is concerned, I haven't played Hazard Zone yet. I ah, know, I'm a bad boy. I'm doing a review and I haven't played it, but I've watched a lot of Hazard Zone videos. I've watched a ton of gameplay footage. I've watched, I, I know how it works. It doesn't really matter. All I'm gonna say is this. It's based off of the main game, Battlefield 2042, and if that if that's how it works, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to trying it out. We're gonna play it this coming Friday, hopefully, fingers crossed, during the stream. Uh, that's right, I stream now every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know some of you are used to me streaming every Tuesday and Thursday, but we're changing that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So this coming Friday, hopefully if I get the people that we need, the, the group, I need a squad, I need a squad. You wanna be in a squad with me? Come on. We're gonna try and play Hazard Zone. So we're gonna check that out. With that being said, I like the way that, that the whole thing plays. I hope that they have some extra game modes down the road, but for now it is cool the way it is, I'm looking forward to it. So that's all the good things that I like about Battlefield 2042 so far. Like I said, I love how everything comes together. I love the gameplay itself. I think it's fast, it's chaotic, the weapons feel good. There are times when I can't hit a damn thing, but that's okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. And the portal is just the backbone, I think, of this franchise moving forward. I think Battlefield 2042 has a solid foundation. I think it's gotten a much better start than some previous Battlefield titles, such as Battlefield 4. You Battlefield 4 fans, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Crashing all the time, getting kicked out. Uh, it, was, it was unplayable when that game first came out. You know it, I know it. 
this is completely different. Now, there are some people that are having some issues uh, that are on PC that should not be experiencing those issues. And I understand that. I'm on PS5 right now. This coming Friday, I will be on PC. So we'll see where it's at from there. So this is just a review for me on the PlayStation 5 and how I'm experiencing everything with Battlefield 2042. And so again, those are the good things. Now, let's talk about some of the bugs. Honestly, I'm not having a whole lot of problems. There's a little bit of a rubber banding every now and then. There's also some issues trying to party up. Again, those are some minor things that we can work out, no big deal. If you're trying to join someone that's already in a game, uh, it's hit or miss. So far, I have not been able to do it. We've done it in the past, but for whatever reason, that's not gonna happen. I think they should have that resolved hopefully here soon, but it's not a game breaker for me right now. The only other bug that bothers me a little bit is that when you jump into a game, sometimes you don't have access to any of your loadouts or any other weapons. You can't change weapons. You're stuck with a DMR. That's it. You can change your specialist, but you don't have any extra gadgets. In other words, you don't have a rocket launcher. You don't have any ammo to hand out. You don't have any health packs to hand out, nothing. So yeah, either you have to just wait for the round to end. Hopefully it corrects itself for the next round or you do what we do. We just start over. We just end, we leave and we come back in. But that's the bugs that we have to deal with. And again, none of them are game breakers for us. They're just a little annoying right now. But again, there have been a lot worse buggier battlefields than this. Now let's jump into some things that I think have got to be changed. These are things that I think have just absolutely must be changed in the game for moving forward. And I don't know if any of them are gonna get resolved. I think a couple of them will be resolved. They've talked about them. I haven't seen any updates here lately about it, but not having squad voice chat is a problem right now. We really need to get that resolved. I can talk on Discord and I can talk on the PlayStation Network, but I do that because I have a headset base that allows me to do that. Um, if you ever wanna know anything about that, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll get you a video out and talk about that one day. But right now, let's just say, I can do that. I can talk on both Discord, on my PC, and I can talk on PlayStation chat at the same time, no problem. But not everybody can do that. So we need to have squad chat. We need to have in-game voice chat. So yeah, hopefully that'll happen here soon. Right now, it's not there. The next thing that I would love to see changed is the classic leaderboard. As of right now, we don't have a leaderboard at the end of the round. We have a in-screen thing that happens and it's cute and it's a little cheesy but we have that we don't have a leaderboard in previous battlefield games at the end of the round you can see what you've done you can compare yourself to everybody else and you can show your kills your deaths all that kind of stuff i kind of like that personally now look i'm not playing battlefield for kd that that's not what i'm here for maybe they're changing that for some reason or another i don't know why but personally i would love to see them have a classic leaderboard back i think it would really help out and I think it would make a lot of classic Battlefielders happier. Speaking of classic Battlefielders, the one thing that I think that keeps Battlefield together, it is the glue, it is the heart and soul of Battlefield, and that's platoons. There's no place for us to set up platoons. Platoons and communities is what keeps Battlefield thriving, man. Look at Battlefield 3 for crying out loud. That game is still going on PC. It is still active and it's because of these communities these platoons that keep it doing that right now there's no way for me to put up a platoon tag or anything we need to have platoons we need to have our emblems we need to be able to do that i'm going to add this on the side note of platoons i think that you should also have the end screen for best squads i think that it was so cool they look like what, what was the tweet here it is they look like they're on a badass album cover. Yeah, we still need that. So not a must, but I think it would be really cool. Another thing that I think we absolutely must have is game modes. I know that there's a lot of value here in Battlefield 2042, but in the main game, where's the game modes at? Right now, we only have the two big out warfare type modes, which is Breakthrough and Conquest. And there's a problem with Breakthrough, but that's gonna be a, regarding the last thing that we're gonna talk about here in a second. But where are the other game modes at? Where is Domination? Where is Frontlines? Where is Team Deathmatch? Where's Free For All? These are simple, simple game modes that we should have. One of my subscribers and people that come into the chat all the time, Benz, he, he actually said it the best. I agree. I think it's a huge disappointment and I have a feeling that they're wanting us to do that in Portal. I disagree with that. I think that they should have that in the main game 
and it should be a part of the main game. And I'm hoping that they'll bring it out because if they add that to it, that would really change things up. That would really help us like learn the weapons a little bit. I've always thought of Team Deathmatch as a warm up. To me, it is. Heck, I would even love Gunmaster. That's a fun one. You start off with a pistol, you get a kill. Next thing you know, you've got an assault rifle. You just keep going. To me, that's challenging. It's a lot of fun. And then at the end, you have to like take somebody out with a knife. Everybody's running around with sniper rifles and bazookas for crying out loud. But yeah, we need more game modes. So come on, Dice, where, where you at? Now, last but not least, the one thing that I think we really must have, and that's server browsers. Yeah, we need them, we need them bad. Look, server browsers actually will help a lot of things. Now, I think I understand why they're doing it this way, but I don't agree with it. I think why they're doing this is because of the cross-play situation. Maybe that's how they're gonna have to do it for a little bit, but we need server browsers. We do, we need server browsers. What I said earlier about Battlefield Breakthrough, that affects that because if you're always constantly refreshing and you're getting put into a new server, that means if you start off defending, you don't know what you're gonna get. You're flipping the coin every time. I don't wanna defend constantly, I wanna attack. And in the next round, I wanna defend. Next round, I wanna attack. Well, you don't get that. You just flip a coin every time with a proper server browser. If I go into a server, I know the next map. I know the map rotation. I know what's going on. Heck, I want map voting back. I would love that as well. But, you know, right now we don't have that. For now, it is what it is, and that's okay. I'm still enjoying myself. Okay, now for you guys on console that want to remove chat, this is how I did it. I added a toggle button. First, you'll need to go to your settings and then go to controller mapping. We're gonna go to on foot and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's actually about the third or fourth one from the bottom, but it says toggle chat. There's nothing there for me. It may be something there for you, but I don't think so. I think on console, they left that blank. So here's what I did. I actually mapped my big map button. On PlayStation, that's my touchpad. That's what I used because I mean, let's be honest, I'm not gonna use my big map constantly, and if I do, it's no big deal. It's a couple of quick taps, boom, and I'm out. Now, you can also put it on the common as well, but I didn't put it anywhere else. I decided I didn't want to be toggling off and on my chat uh, during uh, when I'm on in a tank or something like that. I just figured, let me just leave it alone from there. So again, go to controller mapping, pick one that you want. I just picked on foot, go to the bottom, there it is toggle chat. Now, once you're done, all you have to do is toggle the chat until it says hide, and that's it. You're done. No more chat. You don't have to worry about it. You now, it may pop up again from time to time. No big deal. Just toggle through with your big map button, and that's it. All good. Hope that helped. So if you're on the fence about this game, it's not something that you're 100% sure about. You don't have any other friends to talk to about the game. I've got a bunch of people that are in our Discord right now that are talking it up, talking about Battlefield 2042. Uh, they range from people who play on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, it doesn't matter. If you want to talk to some people about it, come on by. They'll give you their honest opinion too. I think the game is fun. If you're on the fence about it, I'd say maybe wait a little bit, see how things go from there. Heck, who knows? They might even put it on sale down the road. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.